All right, so I want to do a demonstration of the PCT method, which stands for the Pacific Crest Trail method. So this one's a little bit different um, because it requires some hardware to leave the food bag up in the tree. So you do need a carabiner for this one and then some kind of toggle. It can be a stick, tent stake, or you can have a little fun toggle that you carry with you too, like I do. Um, so for this, you set up the, the thing in the exact same way. So first I have to get my kit out here. I've got my rock bag, my line. Line management is super important. With really skinny line that's nice and light like this, it gets tangled super easy. So it's worth trying to make an effort to keep it as clean as you possibly can. So for example, I like to try to keep this loop up here in the way that I coil my rope. And so my goal here is to try to keep this from getting all tangled up. So I'm going to start with this one strand. It's good practice if you have a dog between your legs while you do this. Because if you can do it with a dog between your legs, you can do it in the room. And then it starts out. This is about 65 feet of line, which I find for me is a pretty good length. All right, hopefully that's not too annoying with the rope hitting the microphone, but I guess we'll find out. So the next step is to get the line over the tree, right? So take the rest of my contents out of my rock bag, get my rock. I do the same exact quick release knot on this. I'll do a, I'll um, include some footage of a close up on a bigger rope so you can see what's happening. So that's basically what it looks like. Just a quick. All right, so here's how I connect my line to both the rock sack and to the food bag that have the nice little loop. So you take it, the end of your line, pass it up, and then you take the line, wrap, make sure you have a little bit of a tail. Wrap the whole thing underneath, and then you poke the middle through, like so. And so that's what it looks like there. At least not. But this, we're gonna leave out the whole playing about picking out the branch and stuff, but essentially, I like to give myself enough of a little pile of rope up here, so I expect it to feed freely. Then comes however many times that it takes to throw it over the branch. comes right off the quick release. So we're done with the rock sack for now. And so for the PCT method, you need to have at least a small little carabiner. So something like this works fine. You don't need a rock climbing one. This is plenty strong for a 20 pound food bag. And then you also need some kind of toggle. So I'm going to put my bear bag on my line. And so this, this part for the PCT method is what makes it different. So you want to take your small carabiner, and this part's really important, and you have to connect the carabiner to your food bag. It can go in the same uh, attachment point or you could just clip it around there if you wanted. So the next step is you have to have your other end of the line, the pull line, go into the carabiner. Alright, so just clip that in like so. Next, haul it all the way up to your branch.
And so for this method, you want to bring it all the way up to the top because you have to put a toggle on this line here. And when you put the toggle on, the bag and the toggle meet halfway. So I like to take the weight off of my rope down here so I can do stuff with it. The easiest way, if you don't like knots, is to get yourself a teeny tiny little toggle. This is just a little titanium one. It weighs almost nothing. So to do it, it's really easy. You don't need to know any knots. You just make a tiny little loop, pass the loop through there, and then you take the loop and tuck it over. It's that simple. So that's what this does. I'll do a demo really fast after this too of how you can do it with a stick. So next you lower it down, and the whole point of this is this sideways toggle jams on the carabiner. and it makes it so the bag doesn't come back down. One of the nice benefits about this is that there's complete slack in this line. So in the unlikely event that a bear or animal or something chewed this line or it wouldn't make the food fall down. To get it out, you do just the opposite. You have to haul your food bag back up so you can reach your toggle, try to take some of the weight off of it. In this case, it's really easy to do because there's no knots. toggle comes right out and then you can lower it back down. So let me do a demo while it's up there. <clears throat> of how you can do this with a tent stake or a stick. So you do need to know how to do what's called a clove hitch for this. So if you come in you can see this. So the way that you can try to do it is you want to start up high, place your toggle stick or tent stake, whatever it is, Go around the back on one side, and then you will need to make a loop like that. And go it around on the other side. So here's how you can use a stake or a stick to do the clove hitch. So put it on the far side of the rope, loop the rope around like so, and then off of the tail end of the rope down here, you need to twist a loop counterclockwise and bring them to the middle, and you can pull the two ends. And that's a clove hitch there. If you need to untie the clove hitch, the trick is to find the diagonal section, so like this strand right here, and you just pull that, and that makes it come out a lot easier. You can see that it does the same thing, it's called a clove hitch. And then same deal, you can lower that down and that's, of course, even wider, so it's gonna hit the carabiner like that. One other thing that is beneficial to carrying the little toggle thing on you, because you might think like, why do I wanna carry this thing on me? It's one more thing I can lose. These can make pulling very heavy food bags up into trees with really skinny rope a lot easier. So what you wanna do is start off by putting this up kind of high. It's really easy to put on when the bag's not up in the tree already. And you can do this with a stick too. You can take the stick and do the same thing that you did with the clove hitch. But what's nice about this is it gives you something that you can actually hold on to. So you're not trying to pinch the rope and do all the lifting with your fingertips. So now what I can do is I can just walk this way. And that made it pulling up very, very easy. And then what I can do is I can walk forward, keeping the thing up in the tree. It's a lot easier to hold it there than it is to lift. And then same deal, just like before, I can do my quick release tie off. And that's one advantage of carrying the little toggle. You can do the same thing with a stick and a clove hitch. All right, so breaking this thing down so it's ready to use the next time you need it is worth the effort of, of uh, putting a little bit of care into it. It'll save you time in the future. So of course, you want to take the line off of your food bag. So this is all set. The next thing I'm going to do is start with the end of the pile. And I'm going to choose some place that's free of small dogs, chickens, thorns, and leaves. And I'm going to do this more like jokes aside. I don't want to do this in twigs and things because it's going to get all tangled up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 
just throw the rope down in a small little pile, pulling it back up over the branch there. There's a million different ways that you can take care of your cord. This is the way that I like to do it. Uh, I'm not going to even teach how to do it. I'm just going to do a demo. The reason I do this is because I'm not actually putting any twists or coils in the rope. I'm actually folding the rope in half on itself. So all these little loops are actually just folds. So it doesn't get your line as twisted up. And then I need to find my end. I make it so my loops meet. And then I take my end. And again, this isn't meant to teach you how to do this. This is just an example of what I do. And so that's how I store mine. You can go one step further and help you find that nice little loop in the future. So here's my hardware. I don't usually carry this carabiner and this one. I will just bring one. But what you can do is you can clip all these things together so you don't lose them. And then you can take a carabiner, clip all of the strands of your loop up here, and that's going to make it really easy to separate the loop for when I take it undone next time. I don't uh, do any coils with this. As you can see, I just like folded it and bunched it up in my hand. Oops. And then I just kind of tuck it right back into my rock sack like so. And that's it. I usually keep this right in my food bag because that's when I'm going to um, get it anyways when I've got my food bag out. So that is pretty much everything I can think of for bear hanging.